Good day, dear colleagues. I'm happy to see you at the International Conference on Internet of Things. And my name is Alexander Kapitonov. I'm from Russia, St. Petersburg, uh, at Moy University. And my topic today is uh, Robonomics based on blockchain as a principle of creating smart factories. Okay, let's go. Right now we are facing with a such problem uh, when the billion of smart things will be connected to the global network and it's not so easy to organize a good quality of the communication for that uh, smart things. And uh, right now uh, this problem is solved by service companies like uh, Amazon, Google or Microsoft and, uh, and uh, they create this centralized uh, storages and processing centers for the data. But in that case we have uh, three problems. It's a single failure problem uh, when we use only one point for the uh, data processing and data storaging and we need uh, the really big communication channel for that and if something happened with, with that channel it will be a big problem. The second one it's a trust pr problem because uh, right now we can see a lot of uh, cases when the data is uh, using for manipulations and uh, the they replaced for the other ones and uh, it's really a pro uh, big problem with the trust uh, to that data because uh, when the service companies collaborate with the source of the data and can manipulate it it's not a good way the second uh, the last one it's a uh, uh, high load uh, balancing because when you are creating the center of the data processing you should uh, work with the high loads when uh, the big number of transactions uh, should be uh, processed in the one time. And we, try, uh, we start to thinking how to solve uh, that problem, what way uh, for solving that problem is uh, created right now and we found uh, the couple of uh, ideas the first one uh, it's Ronald Coase uh, he's from uh, economy sphere and his work uh, nature of the firm it's uh, one of the first in the in new institutional economy in that uh, paper he said that the economical relations on the open market uh, create the companies uh, that size what they uh, needable for the market not bigger not less because uh, uh, the transactions costs uh, restrict the size of the company and we thought that this approach can be applied for the autonomous system because the uh, cyber physical system it's like a small company the main goal of the cyber physical system or uh, autonomous system or rob robots uh, smart factories to provide the service to the customer it's like a company and the second idea was uh, from Viktor Glushkov he is one of the founder of the all-state automated system it's a, a control system for the uh, economy of the whole country in the USSR and we thought about a combination of that approach and the best way uh, to organize uh, the market relation between autonomous systems like smart factories, smart cities, it's a 
blockchain. Blockchain with the smart contracts. Uh, in the blockchain, uh, we can present separate system like the economical agent, separate economical agent. And using the smart contracts, smart contracts, it's a formal description of the business process, processes uh, inside the blockchain. Uh, it's uh, like the contract between two companies. And in that approach, uh, the smart factories can be uh, work like a separate economical agent. Okay, let's go deeper inside the platform uh, and uh, try to understand how it works. Uh, at first, uh, we have a cyber physical system uh, which provides supply for the open market. And uh, the second, uh, it's a user, uh, it can be a service, another one service or client or human. Uh, and uh, the user uh, provide the demand. Uh, for uh, supply and demand uh, publishing, uh, uses uh, the light channels, uh, it's publisher subscriber in uh, uh, internal plain file system IPFS and uh, the third part it's uh, lighthouses lighthouse uh, compare the supply and demand uh, from the cyber physical system and the users and try to find the similar uh, supply and demand when it's done uh, the Lighthouse uh, publish uh, the smart contract with the description of the liabilities of all sides of the contract and push it uh, to the blockchain. The next step uh, it's a uh, work of the cyber physical system and when the work is done robot uh, sends the log of the operation what was done uh, during the work the next part it's uh, observing network uh, for verification of the results the observing network can be uh, like a human or a supervisor uh, from the company or it can be an autonomous system like a cameras network or sensors network to prove that the work was really done. And after the improvement of the observing network, uh, the lighthouse sent the transaction to the Ethereum. And after that, contract uh, completed and uh, all the funding transfers uh, to the, all the sites. Uh, look at the process on the sample uh, on example uh, how it can be worked with the uh, sensor network which providing uh, the information about uh, environment state like carbon pollution or um, state of the air quality at first uh, we have the sensor offers uh, model on the open market and uh, the description of the work from the sensor network from the customer sites. Uh, customer uh, sensor network publish uh, his uh, offer like uh, in the model with the model description and the customer offer uh, the data uh, publishing the demand on the market. The next step uh, uh, Lighthouse catch signed ask and beats with the same parameters 
of the model. And uh, after that, can, it can be published uh, to the public blockchain. Uh, and after that, uh, the contract uh, starts uh, to uh, apply. After the finishing uh, the work, uh, for example, for the sensor network, uh, it's uh, providing the necessary data from the uh, sensor network to about air quality or carbon pollution or uh, some other state. Uh, after publishing that data, uh, we can uh, verify that it was really done or not uh, with the validators but uh, in that case uh, there is a simple uh, validator um, like uh, is it the real data or not is it, was it uh, simulated or, or not like this and after that we, we can uh, make the contract uh, finalized. With the same principles of the work I will show you the next three cases what we done uh, for the real uh, autonomous systems. The first one it's a, a Ducky Town project, the second one it's a autonomous flight drone and the last one it's a uh, model of the factory. Okay, uh, the first one it's a Ducky Town project uh, where we simulate uh, the autonomous taxi service with the blockchain uh, where the client uh, make the demand uh, to the travel uh, to the special part of the city and he specified the address and after that autonomous taxi service provide the uh, taxi and uh, provide the waypoint for the taxi and after uh, the finishing the task uh, the system uh, put the log, log of the work and uh, we use uh, the Prisma validator to check uh, is uh, the work uh, is real or not was it done in real life or not uh, with the formal checker and after the proving that uh, service uh, was provided that uh, smart contract finalized the next case uh, it's a autonomous flying system and in this case uh, we get uh, demand from the citizens uh, they want to check the air quality in the spe specific GPS coordinates uh, and in that case it was uh, the air quality uh, near the big garbage hill. Uh, after the autonomous system uh, get the demand from the citizens uh, and uh, the citizens uh, they know the model of the work of the system uh, it, the range, the flying range and the high uh, of, of the flight. Uh, after that, uh, drones start flight and uh, going to the GPS coordinates, what was mentioned in the uh, demand, and provide the air quality data and we make the measurements all over the big garbage hill 
and uh, we found that uh, for example CO2 pollution not so much from the garbage but more uh, from the road okay uh, the last case uh, it's a uh, industry 4.0 game uh, we call it and here we have a big uh, factory made uh, with the Fisher Technic uh, model uh, with the Siemens controllers, Siemens industrial controllers and we provide direct communication uh, with the industrial standard from the blockchain to the uh, control system of the factory. Here uh, we uh, simulate the demand from the investors uh, point of view uh, the investors uh, uh, they uh, put uh, his cash on the uh, market and it's uh, simulate the demand and the supply uh, provided by autonomous factory when the factory uh, found uh, the similar uh, demand, what it can supply, it starts to produce uh, the necessary product. As you can see, all those cases uh, working with the same uh, way, with a single platform, and uh, we hope uh, it's one of the solutions that can provide the standard uh, communication for such systems. And in uh, our point of view, the economical uh, communication, economical relations between the different autonomous systems, between the different company, what, what will present it uh, uh, from the different uh, cyber physical systems, it's our future. Please uh, visit our website robonomics.network and uh, you can find the, our GitHub, all the uh, software in open source. You can check it and please uh, join our community. Thank you for attention.